My name is Colin Richmond, and I'm the designer of the set and the costumes on Pinocchio. It's that colour, isn't it? So it's, what we do. it's always fantastic to see your designs realised from their initial sketches. This is what our builders will work from, and our painters will paint from this. I think it's always a treat as well to see how other people interpret your designs and how we work with them closely to kind of get the look we want. This is actually the first ballet I've I've designed. I worked with Willie on a production of Kiss Me Kate for Opera North and Welsh National Opera. And um, for some reason, he decided I'd be really good at doing this. I and think we spray the yeah. we spray it with water. Yeah. And then put the paint on. And, and then go. let it go. Good. So today we're in the wardrobe department at the National Ballet of Canada, surrounded by all the costumes from Pinocchio. Very hard at work here. Here we have the Blue Fairy. I think this is the first thing I drew. So. A lot of everything else kind of stemmed from where this went to. It's every girl's fantasy of fairy. We've also been down at the workshops, looking at the set and the props. This is one of the wheel ribs. There's eight altogether. I guess they're making the whole carcass for them. So getting the detail in, getting the bent kind of metal struts. So very much like the model, they're bending all of these to be exactly as this. It doesn't matter what medium you work in. It's still fantastic to see your ideas or ideas formed with other people become 25 times bigger, say, with set or from a sketch to something big and wearable. We have 12 trees, which are chopped off, cut off trees. So it's pretty much as is. But as a designer, you always have to remember once you do a model, quite often they will do it exactly like you've done it. So it's worth getting right at the model, I think. Very common mistake I think that people make about ballet is it's a backcloth and then everything else can happen in front of it but actually the, that's the one thing that Will wants at least and it, actually it was more about how we incorporate scenery into each scene and how the dancers can use the scenery as well within it. We've also looked at really setting our Pinocchio in a context of Canada. We have lumberjacks, we have a Mighty, we have beavers, there's a couple of tourists who've just been to Niagara Falls. It's kind of steeped in this Canadian roots I guess. Costume-wise, it's just it's a real treat to do. You have so many different scenes that you enter into, so there's so many different disciplines you have to use within each different scenes and, and different aesthetics. And that's really fun to do because it always keeps your mind active. Creating these kind of worlds is brilliant, and to be able to do it in the medium of ballet is something I've always wanted to do. I never thought I'd love it so much, actually. It's, it's really lovely to do.